Let's get a drink, Heathcliff. It is dying of thirst. Here, Ed, help yourself. How does this faucet work, anyway? I'll show you how a faucet works, Sheila. You turn the handle, and it releases a rain cloud named Sam inside the faucet. <laughs> Sam gets higher and higher until it starts to rain. The pipe fills up, and the rainwater runs out the faucet. Oh, yeah, and I have an idea. Faucets have a giant ice melter in them. When you want a drink, you turn the handle. The handle tells a block of ice, which is inside the water pipe. The block of ice gets into the toaster and gets melted into water, which runs out of the faucet and into your drinking glass. Uh, would you mind getting me a towel while I tell you how a faucet really works? There are faucets in your bathroom, in your kitchen, and usually in your basement or laundry room. And when you turn these faucets on, the water comes from a reservoir through pipes under the ground into your house. But the water can't come on until you turn on the faucet. The inside of your faucet looks like this. You can see that the bottom of the faucet is screwed into the water pipe. And when the faucet is open, water comes through this hole and out the spout. To close the faucet, you turn the handle, which lowers this shaft, to plug up the hole. To turn the faucet on again, you turn the handle the other way. This raises the shaft and lets water through the hole again. This little rubber piece at the end of the shaft is called a washer. It makes the shaft fit tightly, and it keeps the water from leaking out. Well, it's, it's supposed, supposed to, to keep, keep the water from leaking out. The it really knows how it works. <laughs>